Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a cooking with me. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So, we're going to be cooking some brownies from the box. Um, not homemade because I don't make good stuff like my mom does. So, we need three tablespoons of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and two eggs. And I just hope we have eggs. Now we need a bowl. and a measuring cup. A half a cup of oil. Right. Next, we, excuse me, we're going to um, preheat our oven to 350. Let's let go. And we're gonna make sure there's nothing in the oven. Fifty. Don't put three fifty-five. Okay. All right. Now get your brownie mix or whatever you're doing. Let me get this. And gotta go get scissors. Gotta go find them first. Okay. I got my scissors. Um. There's a piece of dog hair on there, maybe how grow. I'm gonna wash my hands before I handle this. Okay, we're just gonna cut this bag with it. Get like a whisk and you're gonna whisk all your stuff. I don't know why you need more oil than water, but oh well. Three tablespoons of water. Oh, water. I'm doing this all. Let's go. Let me just handle this. My water bottles are in the way. You can't even see my sink. There it is. Bring the whole course. What? Two. Three. Dang. Talented. A half a cup old. We're using Wesson per oil. And a half a cup of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. We're really baking it. Make sure you get all that oil out there because you know, oil's good for you. Alright, next you need your eggs. Your hellos. Tables. You need two of your eggs. Two poor chickens. Okay, now we're gonna. Oh. Make sure not to get an eggshell in there. I'm gonna crack it so you guys can see it. I try to do it with one hand, but I'm not that good of a baker, so yeah. Once you got all your ingredients, you're gonna whisk it together. Mm -hmm. Whisk it, stir it. This, does it say beat it together? Don't know. And we gotta get our pan. 
And I don't think we have Pam. Or any Winco brand spray stuff. Or bakers. Good arm workout. Cooking for the holidays. Ugh. And then we'll taste test afterwards. So really Put everything away and I'm gonna put everything away off camera so I'll be back. Alright, my station is clean. I have my napkins. Um, you need a pan, a baking pan or a sheet. Something to put your brownies in. So I love this Faberware one because whenever you put stuff in here, it's super easy to get out and it's a nice pan. And it's heavy duty. It's good. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just really like this pan. My mom likes making brownies in here. So do I. Um, we're gonna look for Pam. Gotta find my pan. any palm so we need some oil and some napkins I'm going to grease it up um, very crappily just gonna grease her up grease her up grease her up okay I should have my hair up maybe no, because my face looks fat. <sighs> Ice me out. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't want to put too much oil in here. It's like what you're doing is it's like when you, if you paint your nails, it's like you're putting nail polish remover on a cotton ball and you're just rubbing it all over the place. You know, get in the edges of your palm. It's going on in the oven. All right, so we're gonna do some more. Okay, let's stick. We don't want our brownies to stick to the pan. We want them to come out nicely and beautiful. All right, that's is that. I'm gonna go put oil away. But now we're going to put our brownie mix into our pan, now that it's all well and old. Not pan, because pan. Thanks for interrupting me. Because Pam is not here anymore. She is in the trash heaven somewhere. I really miss her. It's all tight. And my mom gets mad at me because I don't scrape the bowl out good enough. Which, you have to. So I'm trying to get it all out so she doesn't get mad at me. I want to get a spoon and get everything out. Sorry for banging this. I'd be a great housewife. <laughs> Fun. Okay, let's go put this in the oven. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, do you see my double chin? Okay. So we're gonna put it on the stove. 
nice toast thing in there. And I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see. Look at that, I'm a real baker. We're gonna put it on the top shelf. Oh, sizzle, sizzle. Shizzle man. Wow. So, I'm gonna let these bad boys cook, cook in the oven, yeah. I'm gonna let them cook in the oven, and then once they're nice and delicious, um, I guess we'll try it to see if I really am a baker, and maybe I can be on Cupcake Wars or Cake Wars, so. I'll see you guys in like 23 minutes. One eternity later. Let's go check it again. Okay. So here's what my finished thing looks like. It has a cut in the middle because I had to see if it's cooked all the way. And I should have never cooked it for longer because it's probably dry AF now. Okay. Let's see if I am a good baker. Obviously I am because it's from the box. My mouth is watering, but it's hot. <laughs> Let's be like Cake Wars. Let's be a judge. So, definitely think you didn't need to cook it longer because you just wasted your time. And you didn't have enough time to decorate. And all these cakes, or brownies, I'm sorry, are decorated with little snowmen. So, um, you know, you get a lot of points docked off for that. And I don't think you're going to win because, um, um, yeah, it's it's okay. So I'm gonna try your eggnog now. Mm, delicious, you know, way to get into the holiday spirit. Um, I don't like your eggnog. I think you really need to fix it. Just kidding. We're not on a cooking show, people. But really, that eggnog looks sweet. This brownie is good. I'm satisfied. Mm. so if you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and comment down below if you guys like this and comment down below if you want to see any more cooking with me but yeah i hope to see y'all next time and i love y'all and bye